Hi, I'm Katherine Patterson, and I'm the author of My Brigadista Year. Well, it's not exactly a story, but my first published work appeared in the Shanghai American School newspaper, and it goes like this. Pat, 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 there is the rat. Where is the cat? Pat, pat, pat. It was published in the Shanghai American School newspaper, and right beside it was a letter from the teacher that said, our second grader's work is not up to its usual standards this week because we were too busy working on the circus. So my first published work was published alongside my first critical review. I think I love this book because I thought I had retired and suddenly I was writing a book again and it just felt so wonderful to be writing again. I'll never forget that I had thought I was not going to ever write another book, I would just be a reader and suddenly I was a writer again. I would like for a reader to be to come to my book with a excitement and open openness that would allow them to to read about someone quite different from themselves and yet to somehow take it into their own lives and identify with with Laura and her adventure when when I was in graduate school, which was a seminary, uh, one of my professors stopped me in the hall one day and said, have you ever thought about being a writer? And I was horrified. And I said, no, because I wouldn't want to add another mediocre writer to the world. And she said, well, maybe that's what God is calling you to be. And I couldn't believe God wanted a lot more mediocre writers, and so I did not become a writer but she kept up for me. And then it took me years to realize what she had really said to me was, if I didn't dare to be mediocre, I'd never be anything at all. And you know, it takes a lot of guts to put yourself out there and there are no guarantees ahead of time that you're gonna be a great writer or that you're gonna win lots of awards. So if you don't dare to be mediocre, just forget about it. I'd like to read you what my friend from Cuba, who was actually a brigadista, said about that book. My dearest Catherine, at last, and thanks to Issa's translation, I've been able to calmly read your novel, giving it the attention it deserves. I've been excited by your perception of a reality of an experience which was like that, just as you have described it, caring, complex, adventurous, and profound, which undoubtedly can only come from the best place which each person has. I think if I hadn't read everything you have written and which was translated to Spanish, or if I hadn't had the privilege of hugging you and listening to you on more than one occasion, it would have been very difficult for me to understand how someone who wasn't there and who didn't go through that experience the most beautiful one of my adolescence, has been able to capture the feeling that moved us and which was no other than the detachment and essentially the surrender, a selfless act of love. I thought originally after I had found out about the 1961 literacy campaign that I would write a nonfiction picture book about it. And when I talked to Karen Lotz, who is the publisher of Candlewick and a friend of long standing about it, she said, you're so excited about this, I think it should be a novel. And so I swallowed and launched <laughs> into writing another novel. <laughs> <laughs>